You want to know how genius Donald Trump is? There's a huge story out of California. You know how many jobs they've lost because of the minimum wage mandate thanks to Governor Ron or Governor Gavin Newsom, who I think is going to be the, the, the Democrat nominee. I still believe it. You look at all the polling and compare the polling. We did something on Friday that is very valuable, very important, very, very informative. Compare where we were in June of 2020 with regards to polling compared to where we are today in June of 2024. It was night and day. Biden was dominating. Biden was riding the pandemic like a like a like a tired racehorse. He was showing up at the at the rallies with nine or ten cars honking their horns. It didn't matter. COVID upended everything, inc- including the way we vote. But that's another subject altogether. So, but look at the polling. They're panicking. James Carville's panicking. I pay attention to these guys who have a lot of experience. John Katsimatidis has something called the Cats Roundtable, heard all over the country. And there and he and he he interviewed the Rage and Cajun himself, James Carville, the other day. And I want to hear I want you to hear what Carville told Katz about Joe Biden as the nominee as the the incumbent running for reelection. This is fascinating stuff. And this is where we are now. And, uh, you know, we have, a, we have a choice to make in November. And it, it isn't a choice that I was crazy about. I, I actually was very public that I thought that President Biden should not run for re-election. But he did, and it's him and Trump, and that's where I am. And I'm, I'm a thousand percent behind President Biden. It's just the choice I got. He's stuck with a choice he doesn't want. Well, that's how Democrats feel. He speaks for a lot of Democrats. So let's look at, uh, as this polling continues to affirm that America is ready to make a big change on November the 5th, it was released over the weekend that in California, Gavin Newsom has law, has cost that state over 10,000 jobs. You know why? They're laying people off in the fast food business and the restaurant industry um, because of the minimum wage increase. California fast food restaurants have slashed nearly 10,000 jobs because of California's $20 an hour minimum wage. The California Business and Industrial Alliance slammed Gavin Newsom for pushing through the law, which went into effect April the 1st, and was blamed for forcing at least one beloved taco chain to shutter 48 locations in California just last week. Several major chains, McDonald's, Burger King, even In-N-Out Burger, which is a California staple, have had to jack up prices to offset the higher wages. Many had to cut employee hours, and some have expedited a move to automation. And incidentally, that's what you need to do, just automate everything. I, I, I'm a fast food king. I, there's not a fast food restaurant in America that I'm not on a first-name basis with. <laughs> I have an, or, and when I go into a McDonald's, I don't go to the counter. I go to the kiosk. You know how many jobs they're saving? And I and incidentally, I hate that for the workers. But you've got Gavin Newsom to thank, at least in California. So check out what Trump said over the weekend at his, one of his rallies. And where was he? He was in, I think he was in Vegas. Or no, he was in he was in Nevada, wasn't he? And he was also, I think, in uh Florida. I mean, he was he was kind of crisscrossing the country. But as the country is dealing with fast food workers and restaurants and waiters and waitresses being hammered. Check what Trump promised to do when he's reelected. So this is the first time I've said this. And for those hotel workers and people that get tips, you're going to be very happy because when I get to office, we are going to not charge taxes on tips, people making tips. It's a huge story, incidentally, and I want to break it down for you what that actually looks like. But if you make... Uh, if you earn a living and you're largely dependent on tips, Trump is proposing legislation that would exempt the tips from taxes. And that's going to go over real well in the restaurant business, isn't it? 